Hi, welcome to 8th Wall. My name is Rigel Benton, Interaction Designer, and today I'm going to show you how to get up and running with WebAR using the Cloud Editor. The first page you will see after logging in is your home page. From here, you can quickly access any workspaces you belong to. From your workspace page, you can access all of your projects, invite and manage unlimited team members, and modify billing information. Let's go ahead and create a new project. The new project page lets us set various project metadata, such as the web page title, URL short name, description, and cover image. All of this will appear in social posts and messaging apps when sharing the link. The only option here that can't be changed later is the URL short name. But remember, you can always connect your own domain or clone this project and give the new one a different URL short name. Next, we'll select our project type, non-commercial in this case, which under an agency or business plan is perfectly fine to share publicly as long as it doesn't represent a client. Here we're presented with a few templates, giving us some quick starting points to choose from. If you're just getting started with immersive web development, I recommend A-Frame. It's built on top of 3.js, so it gives you the full power of that platform while utilizing an entity component system similar to traditional game engines. Today, I'm going to choose a world tracking project, PlaceGround. This is the cloud editor. It is broken up into five sections. The navigation column, source controls, file directory, text editor, and device console. Before we do anything else, let's test the project as is on a mobile device. When we click the preview button, a unique QR code will be generated. This will allow us to connect devices to our project. On my iPhone, I'm going to scan this with the camera app. As you can see, we already have a fully functional WebAR project. My iPhone now has a dev token set, which permits it to access this project privately. If we open the console, we'll see the device has appeared along with all of its logs. Not only are logs wirelessly streaming in, but we can even send commands back to the client from here. The console is also where we monitor cloud build and repo status updates. While I like the trees, I want to swap them out for a different model. I happen to have a GLB file I can drop in right here. You can use these square markings to estimate scale in the viewer. Every cloud editor project has a head.html, app.js, and body.html file. When the web app initiates, they load in this order. Head.html is where we are loading external libraries, such as A-Frame and XR Extras, 8th Wall's open source helper library. App.js is where we're importing the tap place JS script, which contains the object spawn behavior. And the body.html file contains my scene. Instead of loading tree.glb, let's set it to load the UFO instead. Now that I've made a change, I can click Save and Build to initiate a cloud save and build. This will also hot reload all connected devices with the newest build, so there's no need to manually reload. This is looking good. I'm happy with this change, but need to land it. When I click Land, I can view the changes I've made file by file, line by line. After double checking my work, I'm going to type a descriptive message for my teammates and future me. With that, I'm going to land my files. Now that I've landed my changes, I'm going to publish this project to the internet. I hit publish and select which commit I would like to publish to which hosting environment. Latest is the last commit made to the project and requires a dev token to view. Staging requires a password that you can set from here. This is great for sharing with clients or beta testers. Public is exactly what it sounds like. No passwords or dev tokens. Remember, it's easy to roll back changes from here at any time. Our project is now live. When I navigate to the project dashboard, I can see that a QR code has been generated that points to a short link. These will never change. However, the URL they redirect to can be modified at any point. This lets you apply the QR code and short link to physical media now, knowing you can change where it takes the user later should you decide to connect a custom domain, for instance. You will always have access to your landed code at the bottom of this page even after your free trial ends. Finally, 
I would like to highlight the project library. This constantly updating collection of 40 plus projects is intended to showcase different techniques and integrations. Each project has a live demo and all of its code can be viewed before cloning. I encourage you to clone and modify as many as you can. If you're ever confused about something or stumped on what you're working on, remember to check out our documentation and join our highly active Slack community and we would love to help. Thanks so much for joining me today and I can't wait to see what you develop.